So first one, here we go. Uh, the toughest bowler to face in the nets. And this is purely on our team? Uh, it can or be. Just like anywhere. In, your, in your career. In your career. Like any bowler you, you feel is toughest. Um, 2009, Dirk Nunes. He All was right. fast. The left that arm. Wasn't pleasant. Left arm and bowling at serious pace. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how does cheat diet of Peter Cedar sounds like? <laughs> uh, there will be some vanilla pancakes in the morning. There All will right. be um, my my wife's homemade fried chicken. Oh, for lunch that will be great. Um, with potentially she she oh she bakes a mean cheesecake. I would I would love to have a bit of that cheesecake uh, as well. And then like I'm I'm not a McDonald's type of guy. What, what would I have? Probably an Indonesian dish, a rendang or something like that. That, that sounds pretty good to me. Potentially with okay. a couple of beers after, but you might want to skip that out. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, well, uh, so next one, uh, what's the dream destination of Peter Seeler? Dream destination? Uh, anywhere in the Caribbean. Anywhere in the Caribbean is pretty fantastic. I've traveled the place in 2012. Nothing but praise for the place. I love it. Absolutely love it. Beach, um, beach, sea, bit of music and chill. <laughs> All right. That, sound, that uh, sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, getting a FIFA in a World Cup or getting a century in a World Cup? Both in winning ways. Let's put it this way, a fiver is a lot more realistic than scoring a hundred, so I go for the fiver. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, uh, you wake up to realize that you are Virat Kohli, and what is the thing that you do next? I'll go out for, for a game and a bit like him. It will be pretty cool. Uh, well, yeah, that's, I would, you know, I would, I would just go straight out and put my pants on and bet. That, you know, I think the way Vera Cody plays his cricket and the way he bets, I think it's um, it's for a lot of cricketers the ultimate dream and and something they 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 kind of strive for. So, yeah, if I would wake up to be Vera Cody, I would kiss his missus goodbye <laughs> and, and go out and play cricket and bet like and, and bet for days. Yeah. All right. So, how do you like to unwind yourself after a bad day in cricket? Uh, that is a good one. Generally, I I would go home, you know, lay on the couch, put on a bit of old school gangster rap, and just don't think about the cricket and just relax. Um, I would probably put on Notorious B.I.G. or a bit of Tupac. I lay on the couch, probably crack open a beer and just not think about it. No, probably would have a nice cold Coca Cola. That would actually be very good relax and just do whatever the thinking does when you listen to music and uh, hopefully pray for better days that, that are about to come. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so a batsman from the past that you would like to bowl to? Batsman from the past I like bowl to. Andrew Simons, not only because he... Um, passed away very recently, but he he looked like one that you know that would be a great a great battle. Uh, there's obviously there's quite a quite a few. Brian Lara, Ooh, I would have I would have you know he probably would pump me all around the ground, but it's fine. I would like to have a ball to I would say Brian Lara. Then that's right. probably a classic one. Yeah. So you have a West Indies series and in Joes in the ranks. So hope that Brian Lara is around there and he gets to do a bit of shadow with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be great. Right? <laughs> and, and, and your dream comes true. <laughs> mm, well, imagine that. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, Sorry, the man. second yeah. last, the second last of the list, and that is a, a prank. Uh, you remember having played on you or you have played on some other cricketers? 
You, there, there, there's, there's been quite a few over the years. It's been quite, okay, one of the good ones was, it was a young I can't really recollect who it was, because I'm, I'm talking like 20 years ago or something, but anyway, oh, yes. we're at this hotel, youngster, first time on tour, um, this was on me, um, but I can't remember who set it up, but... I was in my hotel room. I got a call. I picked, there's an interview for you downstairs. They want to talk to you and you just have to be in your full playing kit. And, you know, you just have to make sure that you're ready to go, this and that. So I had a shower, tried to look good, put on my oranges. And um, they literally made me wander around the hotel lobby for 45 minutes in my full match kit, waiting for this interview. Goodness me. That obviously wasn't, that, that obviously wasn't happening. So... After sort of like 45 minutes, I realized that I'm looking like um, an, a bit of a silly guy walking in your full match kit around the hotel. Um, there was, there, I thought it was quite a good one because I was also 17 years old. Clueless what was happening. Um, one of the other ones that was great um, is that someone... <laughs> I don't know if I can tell you that. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you can. It's a joke. Um, is that someone, um, they made up, um, so two guys had to pick up balls from the airport, supposedly. Um, I was half in on the prank, um, but they said you have to drive, I think it was in Namibia or in South Africa, either of the two. It was in Africa, I know that. Um, these guys had to drive to the airport and we told the, the the driver to keep the air conditioning off that it wasn't working and it was it was yeah africa hot 35 degrees so these guys were sweating sweating going up to um <laughs> to the airport and thinking they were picking up this box off. so and the name so we, we've pretty much got this cricket south african sort of letter with everything written down about the balls and this and that but it was signed off by a guy called k loons which if you just take the names out, it says clues. And in Dutch, that means like, uh, what is a nice word for it? Um, clumsy or you're just a bit of a, right. uh, a, a, a silly guy or something. So after only realizing by the time they got there, was going through the whole airport looking for this bunch of balls is that they looked again at the letter and went like, signed off by blah, blah, blah. And it was like, oh. So these guys must have spent about, Two hours in the cab, hot, sweaty, spent about an hour walking around the airport looking for balls that obviously were never there. Um, and that was quite funny. You know, when the guys came back to, at the end of the day, they spent the whole day looking for balls. And, and if they would have read the letter, they would have quite understood that it was never happening. So that was quite cool because, yeah, <laughs> there was also quite a lot of pranks, uh, but I'm not sure if that's for, for, for sharing on, on, the, on the interviews. <laughs> All right. We can surely hear that it's somewhere else, right? When we're not in life. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, Peter, uh, lastly, uh, two good things and one bad yeah. thing about Peter Seeler. Ooh. Good thing I would like to say I'm a pretty good guy. I'm pretty relaxed. I'm pretty chilled. And you can talk to me about anything. So, I think that, that will be my, my strength, I suppose. Two bad things. No, one bad thing. Just one. Bad one is bit, less really Just one yeah. bad thing. You're free to say two if you wish. Uh, <laughs> we never mind. What is a bad one that I can share on this? Mm. Yeah, there's, there's so many running through my mind that I go like, what is the worst one? Uh, I'm pretty messy in the change room. So at, at, at home and in the hotel room, I'm very organized. Once I'm in a cricket change room, my stuff is flying everywhere, shoes everywhere. It's, 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 it's a shambles. I'm, I'm more of a let's meet in person type of guy. Technology, yeah. nah. Um, so that's my second bad thing would be technology. All Pretty right, bad. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Peter. Uh, so uh, as we complete with the rapid fire segment and before we end everything, there is one last thing that I would like to hear from you, and that is, what is the most memorable yep. thing in your career till now? 
So that's not the first time someone's asked me that. Um, Pretty common. And there has been there has been quite a few. Um, I must admit, if I talk from an uh, individual point of view, yeah. um, that game played against India in 2011 in Delhi, getting um, Tendulkar and Sewan out. Yeah. Uh, that was um that was a pretty good day for me personally. Um also because the night before um one of uh, my good friends Pankaj Yoshi, a Delhi born bred uh, guy, had his wedding the night before and I actually gave a sort of like a speech where I said I was gonna take those two wickets and the Indian crowd laughed at me and I could not blame them at all. Um but it was pretty good. Um, to get those guys out. But if I talk from a cricketing point of view that, you know, there's obviously two massive standouts. The one would be the win over England in 2009, Ed Lord's uh, first yeah. game of the World Cup T20. Um, yeah. And you got caught you know, bowling we without it, I'm not wrong. That is correct. Um, yeah, and that, but what that, about the penguin dance? The whole day. <laughs> You're young and stupid, right? So <laughs> <laughs> that was that was that was this <laughs> horrible, horrible. Yeah, yeah, it was funny at the stage. It was more a thing between me and Peter Boren. I shouldn't have never done it. Anyway, um, that was good. And um, win over Ireland, Ooh, T20 World Cup 2014 in Bangladesh in Silet, where we had to chase 190. Two or 190 in 12.5 overs, and we got it with a couple balls to spare. One of the amazing days. First getting Carter around for 190 was already like, whoa, what's happening? But to chase that down in 12 and a half overs was nothing short of a miracle. <laughs> Great day to be a part of. Absolutely. Well, uh, thank you so much, Peter, uh, for uh, your uh, you know spending no out your from a few times from your precious uh, schedule and uh, uh, bearing with us. Well, uh, <laughs> well, uh, yeah, uh, thank you so much and best wishes for the upcoming tours to Netherlands cricket. You know, plenty of games, you know, with the West Indies. A uh, good summer for all of you guys, you know, England, New Zealand and Pakistan coming. So, yeah, best wishes. Give your best shots and, yeah, hope to uh, get connected more, uh, more, you know, on more and more frequent basis from now on. All right. And before uh, we sign off, guys, uh, I would like to say that uh, do download the One Cricket app, you know, from the Play Store. It's also available in the app, uh, uh, in the app store uh, for Mac and Apple users. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, do not forget to share this video with uh, your friends and all those cricket loving uh, people. And yes, uh, comment on what is your favorite part. And yes, uh, all the best wishes to Netherlands cricket, of course. And lastly, you would like to say anything, Peter? I want to thank you for your time because you know we, we 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 don't get that much exposure anyway so um it's been lovely chatting to you you've had some good questions and actually i've been a little bit of trouble there so no yeah. thank you very much thanks for the entertainment thank thanks for the last sort of 45 minutes mate no, it's been very enjoyable um thank you very much for having me thank you so much <laughs>